How's it going guys and welcome to vlog number two. Um, in this one we're going to be doing an EDC update. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an EDC update and things have changed, things have stayed the same, you know, relatively the same. And uh, But anyway, um, a, a, a subscriber by the last name of Armstrong, only it's not Armstrong, it's Armstrong with an M instead of an N. So anyway, he asked if I'd do an EDC update and I said, uh, and I think, yeah, that'd be a good idea. So we do an EDC update, but uh, before I get into the EDC update, I wanted to, to just talk about a couple things that uh, has been on my mind lately. Um, one is that um, a friend of mine is uh, gonna be building or wants me to build him a an AR-10 uh, rifle. Um, the two criteria for the rifle really is he wants a fun gun, he wants a gun that he can just shoot and enjoy, uh, but also he wants something that he can hunt with. And so um, we decided to do an AR-10 platform. I think that fulfills both of those roles very nicely. Um, so we decided, we were trying to decide on the caliber, right? Because with an AR-10 you can, you know, do 243, you can do uh, 65 Creedmoor, 308, uh, 260 Remington. There's a bunch of different ones, right? And uh, he and to me personally, I really, really am intrigued by the 6.5 Creedmoor. I think it's going to be. I think it'd be an awesome round to have in, a, in an AR-10. Um, and whereas I have other uh, rifles to hunt with and other um, you know guns to utilize, you know I wouldn't feel uh, badly about going out and doing an, a 6.5 Creedmoor, which is a little bit more of a new round, not as prevalent. Um, but in his case. He doesn't have a lot of guns, he doesn't have, in fact, this is going to be his primary hunting rifle, and he doesn't reload. And so because he doesn't reload, or doesn't hand load, um, then it makes the 6.5 Creedmoor a little less uh, desirable, mainly because of the lack of commercial availability. And so we decided really for his purposes um, that, that we should build it in the 308, just because there's a lot more commercially available rounds and loadings for it. And also, I reload uh, 308, and so I could always, um, you know, hand load for his rifle for him for, you know, a, a certain quantity so he can hunt with it as well. So, anyway, we decided to do a 308. So here's what I want to know. Here's what I want to know, guys, uh, from you is uh, I've never built a 308, uh, or I've never built a, uh, an AR-10, and uh, and there's a few things different. It's pretty much essentially the same as, as building an AR-15. So I'm not I'm not worried about building one. But I'm, I don't know all the ins and outs about all the components and parts available for uh, the AR-10 platform. So if you guys have any suggestions as to what you would, um, what you would uh, like to see in an AR-10, if, if there's just something awesome out there um, that I'm not aware of, I'd really like to know about it. So leave in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about AR-10 parts and components. What I've been looking at right now is maybe doing a Mega Arms uh, billet set, upper and lower. Um, we're gonna we're deciding between like an Ultra Match from Rainier Arms, a 24 inch barrel, or a Lilja 24 inch barrel. I really like Lilja. I've been very impressed on how it's functioned with the 6.5 Grendel rifle that I have, that my Project Grendel. So we're we're uh, leaning towards those barrels. However, I'm open to kind of whatever is available out there. So if you guys have suggestions, I would really love to hear it. And same same thing with like the billet sets. Uh, we do want to do with a, a more of a billet set, kind of a fancier upper and lower. And the handguard, I've really been looking at that Midwest Industries uh, M Lock handguard that they have for the 308. I think that would be a, an excellent uh, handguard. I really love them on my SPR and the Project Grendel. They're just great handguards. I don't. Uh, for the weight and for function, I don't see much on the market that beats them. So, uh, for profile and all that too. So, but anyway, uh, like I said, all components for this rifle are undecided. So, uh, if you guys have suggestions, I'd love to hear what you guys would like to see on this uh, Project AR-10 build. And uh, I think it'd be, I think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be way fun. Um, anyway, yeah. So. Uh, we haven't decided on glass or anything, so really, essentially, everything's is open game for it. Uh, we're probably going to do like a Vortex Viper PST, like a 4 to 16. I just really, really love those scopes. They're just great scopes. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, open to all that. So leave in the comment section down below if you guys want to do some input on that. All right, so let's see what else is going on. Uh, my wife and I bought a uh, <laughs> bought a. Uh, a can cannon from X Products yesterday. <laughs> this thing is freaking awesome. We went out and uh, 
and shot some uh, tennis balls oh, and some <laughs> little mini soda cans and the big soda cans out of it uh, yesterday, think? last yeah, night after we bought it. <laughs> just a hoot, man. And the kids, the kids really enjoyed it. I'll probably uh, just while I'm talking roll in a couple, a couple uh, uh, chunks of that footage. But anyway, so we're gonna be having some fun with that. We're, we're gonna get, do a review on it and uh, get some some videos of us shooting the X cannon or the uh, X products uh, can cannon. Very very cool. Just a cool little fun thing. I mean, why not? You know, <laughs> uh, doesn't serve any purpose really other than just for fun. But anyway, yeah. So. So we got that, that was cool. Um, anyway, what else is going on? Yeah, not, not a whole lot, not a whole lot else. Uh, you know, just watching politics and being really frustrated. Maybe I'll do a, uh, a political vlog, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys wanna like hear my, my, uh, uh, pol my political views. I'm sure you could probably guess, but uh, yeah, just, just a frustrating um, scene in our country right now, but uh, anyway, won't get into that. So uh, let's do an EDC, shall we? I'm gonna cut this camera, this is the forward facing camera, I'm gonna cut to uh, the rear the rear facing camera and we'll film, we'll film it off of that, so hold on. All right, so here we go. Um, what I've got laid out in front of you is what I'm carrying today. Um, this is uh, just kind of, this is really a standard EDC. The only items that you're not seeing here uh, that I usually carry are my keys, which are in the truck right now, and um, also the phone that I'm filming this, uh, this vlog with. So uh, those, are, those are not included, but um, everything else is pretty standard. So right now, just the standard bifold wallet. In my front right pocket, I usually carry my space pen. Okay, so Fisher Space Pen. Love this pen. It's uh, one of my favorite favorite pens of all time. Really, really love it. So uh, Space Pen. Um, as a, like a secondary, so these two I don't usually bring together, these two flashlights. Uh, if I don't have the big flashlight, if I'm like wearing basketball shorts or something like that, then I'll throw this through night through night flashlight in there love this light love it it is their christmas edition it's the t t i i think it's just says t i right here um but um this thing puts out over 160 looms which is incredible for a single triple a uh, flashlight. If you guys are interested in this, I think that they still have overruns uh, on their Christmas edition still available, so you guys can check those out on Amazon, I believe. Um, just a fantastic light. Super, super lightweight. It is titanium. Um, I love the, the high polish on it, and the brightness level is just fantastic with this light. It has the, um, the uh, let's see if I can tighten it up here. It has that uh, firefly mode, which you can see it's on right now. Um, again, it also goes up just super, super bright. So just a fantastic light, guys. I really, really, really love this light. Um, but I carry that in my front right pocket, and usually I will carry that with, um, let me just pull it out here, with um, my cadet. So these are the three items that I carry if I'm going super lightweight, okay? Like if I'm wearing basketball shorts or sweatpants or something like that, um, I'm just gonna run in someplace or whatever, going low key, this is usually what I have in my, my, fr my right front pocket. Um, also in my right front pocket is usually my keys, okay? On my keys, let's see, I'll show you. Just have like a little, um, I don't know, 20 loom, little squeeze light there. <laughs> little dummy 223 round. But yeah, just pretty much standard keys, right? So, uh, but my flashlight that I'm carrying uh, usually pretty much every every day as a standard light is my TN12. This thing puts out uh, 1,050 looms, and it's just fantastic. It is a little bit big, okay? So I will say that um, overall width-wise of this light, it's a little larger than my, my Phoenix PD32 Ultimate Edition, which I also carry. Uh, but that one has actually pretty much been relegated to my nightstand as my like home defense light, that PD32. So I'm pretty much carrying the TN12 with me all the time. It is a little bit wider than the PD32 Ultimate Edition, um, but you know for the most part, it's it doesn't really uh, inhibit me from carrying. The only thing that's that I really get annoyed with with this light is the pocket clip I pretty much have to use two hands in order to get it back in clipped onto my pocket because that pocket clip uh, sits right by this um, this little um, uptick of the actual grip there um, and it kind of like 
conceals the 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 front of the clip so it doesn't clip onto the pants but anyway super bright awesome i uh, really really love that that flashlight all right real quick i want to add this in because i totally did not show it it was uh, clipped to my right front pocket i uh, totally forgot about it uh, it's my paramilitary 2 that's the knife that i had on me today i uh, love this knife guys it is it is by far uh my my most favorite knife of all time the paramilitary too. Just love this blade. Uh, the ergonomics of the knife are fantastic. It's fun to play with. It's easy to use. Um, I just, like when I pull it out of my pocket, I pull it out like this, right? It's right there, I flick it open, and then I can just roll my hand, and I'm right into that choil, which is exactly where I like to, to carry the knife in my hand with. Uh, so yeah, just love, love, love the uh, Spider Co. Paramilitary 2. This thing is sporting just a razor, razor sharp edge. I just got it back from Spider Co. maybe a month ago. Um, they they just, uh, they did some maintenance on it and put a, a new edge on the blade. And I gotta say guys, it came back just hair popping sharp for sure. So. Anyway, um, yep, that's also included in my EDC, the paramilitary too. And the knife does change, guys. There, there. I have a lot of other knives that I carry. Uh, however, I find that I carry my paramilitary too, really, really a lot. Um, as you can see right here on the blade, there's some. Let's see if I can get that focused. There's some sticky stuff on the blade. That's from opening um, otter pops for my kids yesterday. <laughs> I haven't cleaned the blade off yet. Opening otter pops. Yep. So that is a dad's use of a knife right there. Opening otter pops for the kids. Um, now, um, I have changed up my my carry firearm here lately. Um, I've changed it up to this gun right here, which is the Glock 42 and uh, the 380. I bought this just kind of for fun. I've been kind of looking at changing up my EDC a little bit and trying to do some like appendix carry. And I do carry uh, my um, my LCP, and I'll show you that here in just a second. But I wanted something kind of in between my LCP and my other uh, major EDC gun, which is the um, Springfield Armory XDS. I've, I carry that a lot as well. Uh, but I wanted to have something kind of in between, and this 42 is really, really filled filled the void there. And I actually have been carrying it in this uh, this kydex holster it's kind of a no-name brand i don't even know who actually makes it but it's a good enough holster that it's actually um, i can do appendix carry and four o'clock carry as well and it does it does decently with that and so um yeah it's been it's been really really nice i've been really enjoying this gun um like i said i've been trying out the appendix carry and it's actually been working fairly well and i've got to say guys that i was I bought the 42 thinking, you know, I'll maybe buy it, do a little review on it, see how it carries. But after shooting it, the first time I shot it, I put about 200 rounds through it. And I was hooked, dude. It it just shoots so stinking nice. And it's lightweight. It carries really, really nicely. And I've just, it's just, it's it's uh, stayed around, um, which I didn't expect it to. So, so anyway, I've been carrying the Glock 42. And uh, I do carry an extra mag. So this is my front left pocket. And it goes along with my phone. I'm carrying the uh, the 90 grain um, critical defense in in it right now, and that's what's in the gun right now um, in the chamber. And so, anyway, what I like about the 42 as well is that these polymer coated mags don't ha have very little exposed metal. The only exposed metal really is right at the very top and the round itself. And so. I've before I've been really hesitant in carrying an extra mag, a metal mag, in with my phone in my front left pocket because I didn't want to get it scratched up. But I don't feel like that's a, a big problem with this uh, Glock 42 mag. It's kind of smooth. It's very uh, you know non-marring, and so I've been carrying that in my front left with my phone. So that's been kind of cool. Uh, let me show you a couple other little things. Um, I do have my EDC bag. It's always with me, guys. Um, you guys have seen the contents of this before. There's uh, all kinds of stuff inside. Uh, we've got um, a, a, a knife and my multi-tool. This is a, a spot headlamp. Um, I've got a pair of gloves on there. Have a bunch of different things inside. You know, pepper spray, uh, some med stuff, fire starting ability. I have the uh, the Kershaw. I can't remember what this is called. Knockout, I think the knockout. Um, so I've got that in there just as a, sep a, spe a, a separate knife in the back here. 
sorry, this is kind of hodgepodge, right? But uh, I do carry my LCP in the back, and what's cool is uh, this gun has been one of my most carried firearms to date, and uh, just absolutely love this gun. As you guys can see, there's Doctac Dad engraved on the top, and then on the side here, nothing fancy actually engraved this LCP. So. So it's kind of kind of cool. Did a little uh, fingernail polish mod to the front sight there, which helps pick up that front sight a lot uh, because the sights are so minimal. This is an older LCP, so it uh, doesn't have the nicer triggers that they, they do in the, the newer ones. Also, 380 Auto was inscribed on the side there. Just a fantastic gun. I really, really, really love this this gun. It's it Like I said, it's probably my most carried gun. Uh, the... The uh, 42 has actually taken its place, though, mostly in carry, just because I I carry the LCP when I can only carry pocket carry. Uh, but uh, where I've been carrying this appendix carry on, like, uh, gym shorts and stuff like that, I can actually get away with carrying a little bit more capable and larger gun because I'm carrying appendix. So, uh, but anyway, this one's loaded up with, um, with those 90 grain spear gold dot. Uh, rounds really really great round tested those in a video in the past and they've performed Really really well. So but anyway, that's uh, usually carried in a DeSante's nemesis holster um, however, hold on However, I'm looking at uh, possibly getting a Kydex uh, holster similar to this for the LCP uh, so that I can carry this appendix carry as well. I just decided that, you know, pocket carry really is inconvenient in that it uses up one of my pockets where I can be utilizing other other gear, other items. And so I've kind of been trying to get away from pocket carry and, and doing more like appendix carry or four o'clock carry, something like that. So... But anyway, um, there's a lot more to the bag. You know, I've got a Mora on the outside here. I've got my um, my Phoenix PD, PD20, uh, or no, not PD20, uh, LD20 here on the side. Another little uh, little flashlight on an S-Beaner, and then my CPR shield. Uh, there's a there's med kits in there. I've got gloves. I've got different, uh, you know, just like basic medical st medical stuff. Another thing that um, that that I that I carry a lot is these Contigo uh, water bottles. These are like the best water bottles ever. As you can see, the lid doesn't match the the uh, the actual bottle itself. The reason why that is is because I actually had some problems with a bunch of these uh, leaking, not leaking, but um, what happens is there was a hole in the uh, the uh, uh, the rubber deal inside of here, right down there at the bottom. And so what was happening is I was only being able to suck air and I wasn't actually be able to uh, bring the, the liquid up. So I contacted Contigo and said, hey, I've been having this problem. I've gone through two lids now. Um, there's an issue with them. And they sent me two or three lids and a couple of straws at replacements. So they just sent them to me in the mail. So um, these, these gray ones. So uh, this bottle's been through a lot. I love these water bottles. They're fantastic. And I always carry water with me. I live in the desert. Um, and, you know, like um, I, I drink a lot of water a day. Probably I probably drink somewhere in the vicinity of a, a gallon a day. So, yeah, so there's a bunch of other things in here. One of the things I've been also uh, uh, trying out lately is this Everly stuff. Um, this stuff is, uh, for those of you guys that want a little bit of caffeine, but none of the uh, calories that come along with a lot of the... Uh, the I don't know sodas and stuff like that. I've been trying to stay away from soda, but anyway, this stuff is uh, flavored with the stevia and erythritol, so they're like the natural sugar alcohols and uh, sweeteners, and so they don't have like the aspartame and the sucralose that causes problems with you. Uh, supposedly, stevia and erythritol is better for you, but anyway, they're zero, zero calories and they have 60 milligrams of caffeine. So for those of you who want a little bit of a pick me up without all the crap that comes along with it, check out these Everlies. I think we we picked them up on on Amazon for like 30, or I think they're 20 bucks for 36 of these packets. And they taste really, really good. The only downside is they only have caffeine in the peach mango flavor. The other flavors are just flavorings. They don't actually have any caffeine in them. So I like to keep them around just to just to give me a little, little pick me up if I need it. But um, another item that I do uh, frequently with my EDC is my, my fuel cells, my Oakley's. Uh, so um, I have those as well. But uh, anyway, besides these two guns, guys, uh, is my Springfield XDS 9mm that I also carry. But honestly, uh, since I bought the, the Glock 42, I have not 
uh, I've not carried the, the Springfield XDS one time. <laughs> I just, I, I love this gun, guys. Yeah, it's 380, but I'm, you know, I don't really feel undergunned with 380, especially because I know my shot placement is decent, and uh, I think a 380 is going to get the job done. So, so, but yeah, but ever since I've, I bought the Glock 42, I've not even looked at the Springfield XDS. So it's kind of a, it's kind of an issue. And, and maybe it's just because this is new and it's whatever, but it just carries so dang nice. It's so light, it's thinner, it's just, it's a lot easier to carry than that XDS. And, uh, and I get lazy, right? We all do. And I think that's something we have to be honest with ourselves is when, when we have an EDC, uh, we get lazy. Literally, I mean, today on me, I'm just going to, today on me is just this. These are the items that I have on me today and my, and my sunglasses, but these are the only items that I have on me. I don't have anything else. So, um, it's a light EDC day, but you know what? Hey, it's, uh, it's the truth of the matter. You know, I don't always carry a multi-tool. I mean, I do, I always carry my bag. My bag is with me all the time, but it's not with me when I'm not, when I'm outside of the vehicle or if I'm outside of work or whatever. Um, I, it doesn't, it's not on my person. This is, this is the stuff that's on my person. So anyway, I could blab on, uh, further, longer, whatever, but, uh, but for the most part, you know, um, that's, that's essentially my EDC. Anyway, a little bit longer vlog today just because uh, the EDC took a little bit more time. Uh, but I really want to try to keep these to right around 10 minutes. I don't want to make them too long. But uh, uh, in the vlog videos, guys, if you have comments or questions about what you want to see in a future vlog video, I am up to kind of whatever topic. So if you guys want to talk about something, uh, hit me up in the comment section, ask me, and I will pick from the comments uh, something, one or two uh, different questions to answer in future vlogs. So uh, so leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video if you do like what you see. If you guys like these vlogs, uh, let me know that you do and uh, so I can continue to, to do them. Um, also, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram. You know, I do Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus as well, uh, but really mostly the Facebook and Twitter stuff is uh, essentially um, just uh, shares from what I'm putting on Instagram. So if you guys, um, if you guys want kind of more interaction with me, uh, Instagram's the way to do it. So definitely hit me up on Instagram, guys. So there you have it, guys. Vlog number two, done. Thanks very, very much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.